Hello again. Uh, sorry I ended up having to cut the video in two pieces, but it was just too big. Now we're going to go ahead and do the upholstery on it. First off, um, I believe that co uh, cotton or Dacron or something needs to be put over foam between the foam and the fabric because the backing on fabric will literally turn foam to sawdust. What I'm doing is I'm just holding my hand, back of my hand on the edge of the foam and ripping the, the cotton off. Now we want to <coughs> position the cushion cover now to pull over the the four corners What you want to make sure is that the salvage, the half inch salvage, is turned under this way. If some of it is turned the other way, the, the welt will be cockeyed. Then what I do is I just start in the corners and I'm pulling it. to two and a half inches to the top of the weld. I'll put in a stay tack. What I mean by a stay tack is I'm taking this, the staple gun and kind of tipping it to the side so only one tongue of the staple goes in to hold it because I intend on pulling it back out. After doing the four corners, what you need to do is pull the center of each of the sections to the same, two and a half. Okay, then, then what I do is I pull the center section. See, this is pulled to two and a half, this is pulled to two and a half, and so all I need to do now is just pull the center between to make the weld straight. What I'm doing is I'm pulling it with my right hand to get the, the weld straight, then I bring my left hand over the top and hold it in position. Now that you have it uh, fully upholstered, you decide you want to put base weld on it what you need to do is you need to start in the in the back what I'm doing is I'm holding the the welt with my index finger and I'm feeling the side of the frame and holding it with my thumb also so I'm feeling the frame with this finger and the welt so I can position the, the welt right on the edge of the When it comes to splicing the back, all I do is just cut this about an inch longer, kind of the same thing we did with the sewing, but this is a little different. I just, I just cut the, 
the weld out, cut that off even with the other one, and then fold this over. And tuck the other weld into it, and that finishes it off. The next step is to put on cardboard stripping on the welt. It has to be stapled on, otherwise the welting can move very easily. When you come to the corners, all you got to do is kink the cardboard stripping and it'll come around the corner. Once you get the cardboard uh, in, in place, by the way this is called uh, cardboard tack strip. You can get it at almost any upholstery supply place. Then you, what you want to do to finish it is put on dust cover. And what I'll do is I'll fold this end. Fold that in. And here's our finished piece. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you very much.